What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, A, and we about to slay. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all know I love Wild African, too. I do have my favorites, so... Ooh, ooh. Don't she look so good? Like, look, this is a really pretty wig. Like, girl, I only got one video to do today, and that's this. So, I, you know what? Like, you know, like, I'm really loving this if I'm only doing one video. Normally, I try to smash, like, three or four because I just don't want to have to set up my equipment. I don't want to have to do no makeup. So, y'all know I love Wild African, and I'm just doing one video, just one video today. And then I figured, I mean, I'll just do, like, a Sheen try-on. I did purchase some new clothes from Sheen with my own money. I did say that I was never going to purchase from there again, but I did say I wasn't ever going to buy no pants from them again. And I did it. Okay. I did it. But I like something and it fits me well. It could be a t-shirt and I got it in, let's say pink. I only bought one and I liked how it looked on me. I'm going to go buy all the colors and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that did that or does that. So I did like a dress and so I bought them in six different colors. You know, some colors are cheaper. They always got a sale going on. So I did um, purchase some dresses and some tops from there. Other than that, you know, I did not purchase no pants. I just really don't trust them on the pants. But you know, I figure I'll make the best of it. I'm going to rock my new wig with my new outfit. So I probably am going to do like a little try on haul. You know, we're going to see how it all look, you know, because sometimes your hair got to be like in a certain style to wear a certain type of apparel. I mean, I'm just saying. And talk about styles. Like, look, you guys. Okay, so I'm able to cornrow my hair. Though when I first braided it, okay, I felt like I could think, I could feel my thoughts. I really did. I felt like I, I could feel my thoughts. You could see my thoughts. I had braided it so tight in the front here that I really felt like everybody's going to see what I'm thinking right about now. That's how tight I had it. But it did loosen up. And in the back, well, I couldn't get it all the way to the bottom. But these little ponytails right here, those little back ponytails, those are sort of the comb, the, the, the wig comb could anchor into them because, yeah, I need that. I need that little bit of extra support. So we're going to do this wild African wig. We're going to see how the wig comes real quick, and then we're just going to get into slaying. I'm just saying, like, this wig is, like, beautiful. Do you see the baby hairs in this unit? Like, these, not baby hairs, excuse me, the curly edges, like, I like the length. This is a decent length, okay? Like, perfect. It's not too thick. It's not too much. Like, I, I think this is, like, going to be a winner. When I did rebleach it. They did do a light bleach, but I wanted it to be, like, a deep bleach, so that way I don't see any speckles. So I did bleach it. I rebleached it. And then I just let it air dry. This is how it looks air dried. I didn't hot comb it. I didn't press it with any heat. This is what it looks like once it's air dried. The only thing I did was slick it down with my um, TGIF mousse. I slicked the edges down and tried to brush some of the little natural curly edges up into the wig. That's all I did. Just allowed it to air dry. So this is what this yakky texture wig looks like after it's air dried. Beautiful. Like this is, this hair is flowing. Girl, we about to slay. Okay. So let's just check out how the wig comes and we're going to just jump right into this. Okay. Okay. Who got the time? I'm raising the clock. Even if my feelings grind, don't stop. Got big dreams, want big old rocks. I got plans, you got talk. Heard it's real cheap, but it's really go house. I'm trying to get these ends. Building bios with my friends. I'm about handling my business. No time for stress over bush. You think success is an option? I'm trying to get this popping like, woo. Big moves. My rules. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I'll disappear a whole season like, woo. Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait tight on I leg for it. Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9. Get that, I'ma make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. On my time. In the court, me first, you sure on my time and off yours, boss to the floor. It's my time. You was for you, I was for us. You do the math, don't add up. Even on my worst day, down on my luck. I got the sauce, I'ma always come up. I tried it your way, that was a dub. I'm taking the wheel now, cause I trust me. I'ma go get these millions. I'm still hoping and wishing. You always had me waiting, and I'm about fresh out of patience. This time we switching positions. Now you under my submission, like, Woo. my rules. Big moves. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I'll disappear a whole season, like, Woo. 
Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait tight on I leg for it. Count down for me. Five, four, three, two. I want, I'ma make you wait for it. For it. On my time. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. On my time. final look i'm done y'all seen i had to customize this wig like every wig that you get you gotta just customize it because just because it's made like that does not mean you have to wear it like that so i was very fond like super duper fond of the natural edges like i really did like the natural edges i liked the den i like the density of them and i also like the amount of them like the density was perfect it wasn't too thick it wasn't too long it wasn't too short it was like the right length as well but the only thing that kind of like 
scare me away from them was the amounts. So the amount meaning it was very lengthy on my hairline and I had to customize it to my liking. I didn't like the hairline so rounded out, moon shape. So I did kind of like cut away some at the frontal portion of my hairline, which is just this piece. I did cut away some of that as you guys seen. And even though it was a small amount, it made a big difference because it didn't give me that round moon shape hairline, which I definitely wasn't going for regardless of the natural edges or not. And I also did like cut away at the side as well. Now I could have probably cut away a little bit extra right here, but I'm going to just leave it because it's not that bad. I just was really concerned about the frontal portion right here, the exact hairline. Now you I told y'all before, like, I think like these curly natural edges give you a better look or more natural look than baby hairs. I mean, it all depends on what your look is, but sometimes it could be overbearing. You don't want so much of it. Like myself, I don't really like a lot of the hairs in the front. So I do try to push them back into the unit. But being that these were short, there was no pushing. There was, they was not going nowhere. Okay, girl? They was not going nowhere. But it still worked out because I just had to customize it. You know, if you have a long head, like I got a long head, okay? And I say that to y'all all the time. My head, my hair, my head is long. Like it's a long head. So my hairline could be down to here, but it also depends on what the wig hairline looks like. I could pull a wig down to here, but I got to make sure that it looks good because girl, if I don't, have it situated right, it'll start looking kind of draggish on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have to make sure my eyebrows are like the perfect width, the perfect length, the hairline. Girl, listen, it'd be work when you got on a wig. But customize it, just customize it. So the one thing that I really do like about this wig, girl, I didn't have to put no heat to it. Like straight up air dry. I don't never blow dry my wigs to, to dry them. I washed them and then I just put them on a mannequin head, situate them and just stand there and they air dry. That's the best thing. But girl, this yakky hair texture, it air dried to the perfect like look. Perfect. I did not have to add no heat to this. And I'm so happy I didn't have to do anything. I didn't even have to do the edges like that, like that. I think I did it like one tap here and one tap up here. But mainly this is from the actual elastic band that I put on. Honey, I'm telling you, this is some really nice yakky hair texture. It's hard to find good yakky hair texture. It's hard to find stopped yakky hair texture on wig sites. So girl, make sure y'all check out Wild African. They always got some really nice wigs. Super clean hairline. I think this one is the HD film lace which gives you like a very natural look the elastic band fits very proper it's in the right hooks and also it gives you plenty of parting space so I do have more parting space back here it goes back just a tad bit like to right about there but I thought my part was perfect right where it's at and girl I'm happy that I didn't have to put on a wig cap today but for the most part girl this wig came out cute um nice density fits well. It fits well. The combs actually are staying down in the back because I had to, you know, situate my hair and add like a couple of little ponytails in the back so that way the comb would stay in place. So that's what helped a lot. I don't know if I'm glad my hair is growing back or not because I, I like it one minute and then one minute I don't like it. Girl, I'll be so undecided. It's a damn shame. Seriously. But you know what? Um, Yes, I guess I will do like a Shein try on haul. So stay tuned of my outfit with this hair on. This is a brand new shirt from Shein. Girl, I like these little flowy peplum tops because it just hides away the fupa area. Girl, I just really don't feel like wearing no waist trainer. Plus the one that I have, it will train your waist. All right, it'll suffocate you. I, I got to go up a size or two, okay? Because the girl has put on a couple pounds. But I, listen, I'm just going to embrace what I have. And I'm going to show you guys my little Shein top. I know I said I wasn't going to buy much from them, but the, the tops and the dress girl listen you know it is what it is but yes i will see y'all in the next video stay diva and divalicious peace out make sure you stay for the end i love you all and i'll see y'all soon
Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take, the love that we make, it's my favorite drug. To 